Welcome to Rock Lake. Uh, me and Shane are just dumping in for the Canada Day long weekend. Happy birthday, Canada. 149 years old. Uh, bugs are pretty bad, but heading to Harry Lake, gonna have, a, gonna have a heck of a good time. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm raring to portage. Raring to portage. This is feeling really good. On my shoulders. Right you just now. want to carry it the whole way? This whole way. Okay. Screw paddling. I'm just going to walk. All right, I'll see you there. Alright, so this is Penn Lake. Big lake, a lot of rocks. Big, big rocks. A tree. That's a tree stand, that's what that is. I thought that was a big dead rock. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's just a bunch of trees, I think. Okay. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot, uh, a lot of pretty stuff here. Me and Shane, what, what do you think, Shane? What do you think of Penn Lake? Uh, not bad. I don't think I'd want to camp here, but it's a nice one for passing through. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad for a shoulder season, we were saying. A lot of well protected sites, relatively close. Anyways, portage. Well, we made it up the creek. Uh, had to do a bit of stringing, and uh, now my feet are wet. But, yeah. <laughs> careful. Falling here is no joke, man. But the bugs are bad, and I gotta put my shoes on, and we just wanna get through this. But it looks pretty. Well, we made it all the way to Harry's Lake. Uh, we are at the site that is northwest of most northwesternly part of the lake, and it's a beaut. We're really, really pleased with it. Uh, there's this nice big front area here where we still need to clean up some stuff, but we sort of set up camp, set about putting up the tarp and the tent just to make sure we got a couple dry spots. Let's also put up the flag because it's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Beautiful day for it. Uh, just having some coffee trying to warm up and dry off. And uh, oh that's strong. <laughs> uh, the coffee is strong. The Baileys in it is also strong but only a little bit. Uh, yeah I think we're just going to take it easy. There's a lot of uh, dead wood right down the uh, way by the lake so chop some of that up make sure we have a nice warm fire some saintly saint put a bit of lumber underneath the uh, bark there so we got some dry wood and uh, just a quick scavenge while we were hunting, uh, hanging the food bag yielded good results uh, on that it's probably one two three, four, ten pads. Plenty of places to hang hammocks. Uh, Thunderbox is way back in there. And as far as we can tell, this used to probably be a table, but it has lost some stuff, for sure. We might have to fix that. We'll see what we can do, because there's a little bit of garbage rope here and there. Oh, focus. Uh, and a little piece up there. You can't really see it. Nails where the old deck was. Yeah. This sounds like a Saturday challenge. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. We got some fishing to do too. <coughs> and the wind has changed again. It is coming straight at us now. We're always wind-dicked. Wind-dicked forever. Oh my God. No, no, come back. I see a shadow right there. Oh, it's gone now. It almost came out, man. Almost for a half a second. I saw it. I saw it. it there, it's back. See? A sunbeam. Put on your SPF 1000 while it's still raining. This is just our life now. We are one with the rain. I'm starting to sprout gills, I think. Well, if you ask me, probably came from a meteor. Maybe somebody online knows. Okay, people on YouTube. See all this black in the rock? Do you think that's like crude oil? Cause 
because then we struck it rich. All we have to do is portage all of these rocks out. <laughs> get them fracked. Yeah, get the guns out. I could do it. And uh, we'll take them a couple miles that way. Then we're and fucked. And then a couple more yeah, miles. Then we're rich. We are rich as devil. We're just waiting for the rain to stop so we can start a fire. Cook our kebabs for dinner. Little beef. Oh, it tastes so good. Good morning. I'm going to try my best not to squint, but uh, the sun is out, the wind is relatively low, and uh, I don't have anything to do, and I'm in Algonquin Park. Uh, going to get some coffee going, filter some water, maybe take down the tarp, try to dry it off a bit. That's going to be the goal for me today, is <laughs> dry stuff off, namely my shoes. Uh, now I'm going to do some fishing. Shane's got a couple construction projects in mind. And, uh, we're just going to relax today. I cannot wait. Last night, before we, uh, went to bed, just out of the corner of our eye, we noticed that there's people on that island, not island, but that point site over there. Uh, there's a big beach down there, but that is right in the middle of the wind and bug central we think so we avoid that one and it's pretty uh, open not very tarpable and there's one site right over there I don't know how much of it you can see you can see their canoe and they're way in the back super shaded uh, and the winds blowing right in there so we haven't seen much of them there's one also one last site right in there uh, we haven't seen too, too much of anything over there, actually, not even with binoculars. We're on the uh, southern site now, that's our site. So, southwestern. And look at this, behind the, ta the relatively dirty beach, they got a table and a poking stick, grills, stumps. At least one good tent pad there, another one probably out front there. This site ain't bad if you don't mind the flies, like in the shoulder seasons. Oh, and Shane, look at that. That's a good bench, too. Oh, yeah. No, this one's fairly new. Somebody's done that recently. Neato. We're at the site from across the way now. Uh, this campfire looks nice and fine. Nice little set of benches. Not so much in the way of a portage up, but you can see my flag waving majestically over there. Lovely. But those guys left like two hours ago and their fire is still smoldering. What is this? It's not very smart. No. Not when there's an extreme fire ban. So we'll do what we can to put that out. Other than that, site looks about what you would think. I don't know, what do you think of this place, Shane? It's not bad, it hasn't got a lot of room though. Well, it's pretty open in the back. Yeah, a couple of tent pads back here, but... It's okay. It's mediocre, but take it to be on, for sure. 100% northwest, if you're on Harry Lake and you're not on this site, you're not gonna have as good a time as other people. If the wind rolls in, you wanna be on this site, at least with a northwester prevailing wind, anyways. I mean, swimming's good. I mean, can't say too much about the fishing, but views are good. Site's nice and level. Drains well. You can go sans footwear. All around a good site. I'm a huge fan. Alright, you ready? Yep. Jane, are you ready? I'm ready. Right. Oh. Oh. This was not as warm as advertised. So you can just barely see it right there. This is the edge of a giant black evil cloud of doom that has been doing nothing but raining down thunder and lightning over there.
But then you look over this way, and it's just a beautiful sunny afternoon. <laughs> I think we missed a big storm, buddy. I think we did. I'm pretty happy about it. Yep. Morning, foggy, foggy morning. Uh, it's cold last night. It's cold this morning, but stuff to do. So I'm gonna get some coffee on. That'll warm us up. Get the food bag down. That'll fill us up. And all we gotta do is take apart the tent and repack the bags, uh, and uh, make 20 kilometers to our cars. So. Nothing to it but to do it. Alrighty, so we're all packed up, just about to head out, and uh, I think we've left this site in better shape than when we got it. Uh, constructed a new bench, Shane made a tasteful rock table. He also strapped another piece of wood over there, I don't know. If someone comes in with plywood, you're gonna have a nipple level table. Just a sheet of plywood when you're there. And uh, we redid some of the fire pit, although we dug some of it out so that it could uh, radiate heat to our new benches. We made it up the creek all the way to whatever this portage is by the falls. That is one soupy pulling. Oi bae. Socks are ruined. I am Og, destroyer of socks. All right, let's get out of this mosquito infested sweat box. I'm just gonna throw a knife at you, Ian. Catch. Oh, just catch it with my sandal. What do you mean he stapled a sandal to his foot?